Um, so guys, there's three types of thoughts, okay? There's what's called clutch thoughts, neutral thoughts, and cringy thoughts. Who knows what clutch thoughts are? Tyler. They're like good thoughts when somebody helps you out, you remember it. When that you remember it? Okay. Yeah. So you guys, to Tyler's point, yeah, guys, clutch thoughts are when you say or do things that help other kids feel comfortable with you or feel like they can relate to you. James, what do you think I mean when I say they can relate to you? What does that mean? Um, like they're like the same as you. Maybe? They're like the same as you that they feel comfortable talking yeah. to you, right? Mm -hmm. So guys, guys, clutch thoughts help other people feel comfortable around us, okay? Everyone here yesterday, okay, in this group, I feel did things to help other kids have clutch thoughts about them, okay? Some of you interacted with each other more than others, and that certainly helps, all right? So Nick, can you say for under clutch, things that help other kids feel comfortable with you or something like that? Guys, most of life we go through having neutral thoughts about people, and people have neutral thoughts about us. So remember guys, I asked you how many of you remember every single day of school in the hallways this year and nobody raised their hand. So guys, here's the thing. When people are doing what's expected for the situation, we're having little thoughts about them, right? We're, we know they're there, we're not really thinking of them. That's what neutral thoughts are, okay? We're just aware of people, they're aware of us, but we're not thinking too much about them beyond that. So I'll give you an example guys. On the boat yesterday, I was having neutral thoughts about the other people on the boat. Right? They were doing what's expected in the situation. Wasn't really thinking about them. All of you were doing what's expected in the situation, so the other people on the boat were having neutral thoughts about you. Is neutral thoughts bad, Ivan, do you think? No. Hmm. Are your neutral thoughts good, Tyler, do you think? I don't know. They're, they're like in the middle. Yeah. So, Tyler, I'm going to say I actually think neutral thoughts are good. You know why? Mm -hmm. Because, guys, no, people are feeling comfortable around you, right? They're not, they're not bad thoughts. Yeah, exactly. It's not bad, it's good. Right, so guys, no thoughts are bad or good, right? But thoughts can kind of fall into clutch, neutral or cringy. I want to tell you guys a story. When I was little, I was at the Philadelphia airport. I think we were coming back from California. Mm -hmm. And you guys know in the airport at the luggage claim how there's that, it's called a carousel that goes around with bags? Yeah. Have you guys seen that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Some, some airports are a little different. They have it a little differently. But so I was at the airport, guys, and this is a true story. Okay. A guy, you know, fell on the carousel as it was going around and he just stayed on it the whole time until he got back around the other side. Okay. What types of thoughts do you guys think that the other, you know, people waiting for their luggage were having that this guy went around on the carousel laying on it for like one whole turn? James. People would have cringy thoughts about it. Why would people have cringy thoughts about that, James? It's like people don't really do that. Because people don't do that, right. Why do I remember something from almost 40 years ago, David? Because it's burned into your head. Right, so David said, because it's like burned into my head, because, right, because I was having cringy thoughts about it, because as a kid, I never saw adults behave that way. So that's exactly right, David. What were Simon, what, what happened at, on um, November 13th at your school? What happened November 13th at your school? Do I you, don't know. Right, do you know why you don't know? Well, the day after was my dad's birthday. Okay, but do you know why you don't remember, Simon? Because it was neutral thoughts. Because you had neutral thoughts, yeah. So Nick, let's say neutral thoughts are, we're aware of other people and they're aware of us, but they're not, we're not thinking about each other that much. Okay? Guys, hold on, because I want to finish this up, all right? Tyler. Yes? Anybody in this group do here, yesterday do anything that helped you have clutch thoughts about them, helped you feel comfortable around them? Like they made an effort to talk to you, to get to know you? Yeah. Yeah, me too. Okay. Guys, I had clutch thoughts about all of you yesterday because I saw how well you were interacting, okay, for the first time meeting each other. So I think you guys did an excellent job yesterday of helping each other have clutch thoughts about each other. All right? So cringy thoughts, like the one I gave you about the guy at the airport, cringy thoughts are things we say or do that make other people feel uncomfortable around us or have weird thoughts about us, okay? So Nick, can you say things that make other people feel uncomfortable or have weird thoughts about us? Guys, if somebody has cringy thoughts about you once, can their thoughts about you change, Simon? 
Simon, if somebody has cringy thoughts about you once, can their thoughts about you change, maybe, based they on can. what you say yeah. and do? What's that? Yes, they can. They can, yeah. Anybody can change, anybody can change their thoughts. Anybody can change their thoughts, yeah. James, yeah. if somebody has neutral thoughts about you when they get to know you, can their thoughts about you change from neutral to clutch? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, absolutely, okay. Um, Ivan, if you were friends with somebody, okay, and then like they started stealing, right, and you knew they were stealing, would your thoughts about them change from um, clutch to cringy? If you knew they were doing something that they shouldn't be doing? Yeah. Right, okay. So guys, our thoughts about people can always change and their thoughts about us can change. So guys, a lot of kids who I work with in elementary school, guys, they used to do a lot of things that gave other kids cringy thoughts about them. But uh, then as their brain develops and they mature, one of the things I always teach them is, you can change kids' thoughts about you from cringy to neutral, and then eventually from neutral to clutch, okay? Guys, I've, I've had to explain this to guys in high school a lot who maybe they were like really hyper in middle school and they got a lot of kids mad at them, but then when they got to high school, they matured, and I've had to teach them that, yeah, you can change kids' thoughts about you now, okay? So, guys, that doesn't mean everybody's gonna like us. It doesn't mean everyone's gonna be friends with us. What it means is that we can help change people's thoughts about us for the better or not for the better, all right? So guys, if I say to you, you know, that I'm, you know, having, you know, cringy thoughts about you, it's not because I'm trying to make you feel better, criticize you. I'm saying it, or I'm not if I say I'm having cringy thoughts about you, but if I say the other kids might be having cringy thoughts about you, I'm not saying it to make you feel bad. I'm saying it, guys, to help you understand other kids' thoughts, okay? If I tell you guys, that you're doing something that I think is helping other kids have clutch thoughts about you, it's because I want you to understand what you're doing right now is really helpful to you. Does that make sense? Yeah. All right. Nick, did we cover everything here? Yeah. Okay. Nick, did I do anything yesterday that gave you cringy thoughts about me? No. I didn't? Oh, okay, good. Glad to hear it. Ian? I did. Yeah? I actually, yeah. What was that? Made a really unfunny joke. Okay, I do that a lot. I remember the bagel thing. The bagel thing? What was the bagel thing? Oh, the bagel. Yes, and the, the bagel thing whenever you, uh, at the bagel store. Hot bagels, is that a... What about it? What, what did I do that gave you guys cringy okay, thoughts about me? Right, so yeah, you know what, Nick? I got frustrated that they kept getting my order wrong, because you know why? That happens a lot there, yeah. <laughs> so what I should have done more, guys, yesterday was use what's called emotional compression, which is when... We can feel really mad inside, but we don't always show it, right? Or we feel really frustrated, but we don't show how frustrated we are, okay? Yesterday, I didn't use emotional compression like as, as, as I should have when I got frustrated with the bagel place because I have a lot to think about the first day of camp. I'm thinking completely about you guys, right? So the last thing I wanted was for them to get my order wrong like they do every single week, okay? So, Nick, thank you for bringing that up. I appreciate that. All right, fellas, you did an excellent job with this. It's